Great vegetation is key when making most sorts of environments, but oftentimes good assets come at a higher price. But in this case, you get the best grass and weed assets for free. I'm not even exaggerating, I've worked with many asset packs and this one is the best that I tried not only for Blender but also 3ds Max and other softwares. Stay in and I will show you how to get all these assets and how to use the add-on so in future videos you can follow along using these grass assets. So after making an account at the Grass World website, link in the description as always, make sure to download their add-on using your Blender version. In my case, it's 3.6. Go ahead and download the add-on from the website. And after downloading it, you will get a zip file, which you will need to go ahead inside of Blender, Edit Preferences, and inside of Edit Preferences, go to Add-ons and press Install. Locate the zip file and just press install and after doing that you will have the add-on ready to use now press n you will find a tab called g scatter locate that tab and it comes with a neat ui now to use this i usually like to be using cycles most of the time and as you could see it's very minimal but it has a lot of useful utilities i'm just adding a simple plane for example, I won't be using it in a minute, but you will see what purpose it serves. For comparison, of course. Now, you might go ahead and choose choose it as an emitter, but you don't have any assets to use. The add-on is only 4 megabytes. Now, I already installed some, but in your case, you won't have any assets or environments. To get those, you will have to go ahead back to your uh, website and choose any type of environment or assets now you have a couple of options and each option has a bunch of subcategories based on the type of environment or biome you could go ahead and use for example the field meadow i'm using for example the wild field meadow preset go ahead and download it it will give you a zip file as well a relatively big one around 700 megabytes to 1 gigabytes press on the install button in the add-on and locate it and press install i already done that so i don't really have to once you do that you will find your environments downloaded as well as the assets individual assets press uh, you could go ahead and read more informations and for the select terrain type you could go ahead and choose a default terrain which will create its own terrain or custom which you can get to choose what terrain to scatter on and press add environment as you can see we already have a super nice type of scatter and I will be talking more about this in a minute so as you can see we have many utilities and many options in the tab for instance we have the IV leaves display percentage which gives you the option to only showcase a certain percentage in the viewport of the specific asset as you can see, this is using the GeoScatter node, so not the regular particle system, which gives you a lot more control. And I will be showing you a couple of options for this in a minute. Now, taking a look at this, you can go ahead and start to play around with, for example, the viewport display percentage, which is extremely important for the sake of optimization. Odds are you don't want to be, especially if you have a large train, you probably don't want to see hundreds of millions of polygons inside of the viewport and you will only want to see it when being rendered so this slider is extremely useful so instead of scattering 100,000 polygons you only scatter 1,000 if you go ahead and choose 1% now as you can see this does tend to lag a bit which is why I'm speeding up the video but it's well worth it now let's just take a look at the quality of these assets and remember this is only one pack they have multiple packs in the dozen amount and as you can see if we scale up the grass terrain that we have added that uh, we have added it updates without going ahead and applying the scale if we do it in the 
if we do it in the edit mode and it updated the distribution as well since we are using here based on density and not on count now as you can see i will just be showing you how to navigate through these uh, geo nodes so you can go ahead and press the specific nodes group and press tab in order to check it out and it's relatively self-explanatory they did a good job with labeling everything so you can go ahead and learn from this you know you might even develop this to use for your own assets to scatter them in the future now as you could see we could go ahead and explore some of the distribution here which is extremely useful as well Now in this case, we could go ahead and do the distribution play around and it's all based on certain noises for each layer. And as you could notice, each layer has the a noise in which the properties differ in order we don't have, for example, in terms of scale, let's take scale as an example, we don't have the same scale in the same area for all of these species. So they have done a good job at randomizing it. Now you could go ahead and play with this all you want and as you could see in front of you it has an effect but in most cases i found that the default works the best don't be afraid to play around with this you know just go ahead and learn see the effects of what it does it's self-explanatory for most of the time and most of it it's very visual so you see the changes hence knowing what each button and slider do Now, after doing that, we could go ahead and play around with the optimization, as I mentioned earlier, using the viewport display. Now, it updates in real time, and it's relatively very fast in comparison to regular assets. Now, switching from the viewport to render mode is extremely slow, and this is not the real speed I sped up the video at this moment. Now the assets look extremely solid with any type of lighting. One other option for the sake of optimization is going ahead and uh, enabling the camera calling. To use this you need to add a camera and go ahead and peep through it, take a look through it. Choose your camera or you could go ahead and do the use active camera. Make sure that the focal length of the camera is matching the focal length in the column in the camera calling settings. Personally, I would like to have a wider in the focal length of the G scatter in order to to spawn some more assets where the camera can see in order to cast some very nice shadows. We could go ahead and play with the proxy settings. And as you could see, we have a couple of options here as well. I won't deep dive into each one of them, but you know, test out and see each, what each one does. Now keep in mind, for this, it's applying it through the, uh, through each type of uh, uh, asset layer. You could go ahead and create your own biomes by going ahead and scattering specific assets, making a certain layer setup or biome, and going ahead and choosing a couple of options here, for instance. By doing that, you can customize your own packs and biomes could go ahead and create a description, create a name, create a creator and create and choose a terrain material as well as rendering a thumbnail to make it easy to distinguish. We also have some suggestions to download certain assets without needing to go back to their website and downloading a zip file. And as you could see, it gives us some really nice options. We also have some very handy extras like back in the uh, blend files with external assets so we can go ahead and send this somewhere else to a render or to a render farm for instance we also have different options and you know everything you could go ahead and create up on your manual so this is again based on the geoscat uh, geo nodes so it gives us much more control now this was slightly faster than usual it's not a scene it's just an introduction but i have gotten you won't believe how many comments and messages i've gotten about the assets that i use 
and this one is free so it's extremely useful for you to follow along the videos that i will be putting in the future or the ones that i have put earlier on now as always feel free to drop your comments down below feel free to message me on discord and if you enjoy this subscribe maybe take a look at my instagram where i share some more professional work and better quality stuff until next time Take care and enjoy yourself.